How many times do you have SES? That's honestly very uncomfortable. Would you have a threesome with two girls? How do you feel about the girls you graduated with? Do y'all still talk? Okay. Next question. Do you pee in the shower? Of course. <laughs> Wanna be worried about no damn kids? Uh-uh. <laughs> if you're in a relationship, are you happy? How are you mentally? What's up you guys? It's your girl Christina and today you guys, today I am back again with another video set you guys. So today's video is a little bit different. That's when you click in this video. This video is basically about me asking y'all guys uncomfortable questions that I usually don't answer or basically that I avoid. So basically I put something up on my story um, on forever.christina. If you don't follow me up there, go follow me so you can go interact on my page. That way you can put your opinions and put your um, suggestions of what kind of content you want me to, to do for you guys. So make sure y'all go follow me on my socials. Everything will be in the link in the description box down below. So yeah, that's what I was saying. I post this thing on Forever Dr. Christina on my story, basically asking you guys to ask me some uncomfortable questions. And when I tell y'all, y'all minds are not in the right places, all y'all asked me was about SDX, and I'm just not gonna answer those questions because honestly, those questions are a little bit too personal and really none of y'all's business. So I'm going to avoid those questions once again, okay? <laughs> so we're just gonna go ahead and get straight to the video. I don't want to do too much talking. Just make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you love your mom, okay? All right, without further ado, let's get into question number one. Are you single and ready to mingle? No, I am not single. And no, I am not ready to mingle. Question number two, if in a relationship, why do you not post them? I am in a relationship and honestly, I don't think it really matters if I do or not. I just want to keep my relationship private, you know, keep it to myself, you know. It's really not everyone's business to know who I talk to, who I date, you know. If you, whenever we pop out, we just pop out. I mean, that's honestly, Something that you would have to stay tuned for. Follow me on my social media. Like I said, once again, links in the description box down below. And whenever we pop out, we pop out. We stay tuned. That's all I'm gonna say. Just stay tuned. Okay. okay. Number three. three. Common misconceptions about you. Okay. My mis my common misconceptions about me is people think they know me from YouTube when they actually really don't. People think they know me by what I post on my social media. Just because I'm all bubbly and happy on my social media doesn't really mean that I'm be all bubbly and happy around you because don't get me wrong, I'm a bubbly person, you know, but I'm very shy when it gets to know, when it gets to people that I really don't know or don't talk to. It's kind of, I gotta kind of observe you and warm up to you, but other than that, I'm very quiet, you know, Honestly, when I'm in front of my camera or in my house, then of course I'm going to be loud. I'm around my family, of course, I'm going to be kind of loud because, you know, there's family. I'm in a house. I'm talking to a camera, you know, so it's really like different versus when I'm in public, I'm not going to really be all loud and stuff like that, you know. Um, a lot of people think I'm mean when I'm in reality, I'm really not. I'm very, very nice to people as long as you don't say anything out the way and think you're gonna just run over me <laughs> because I don't like that. I don't think you're gonna run over me because you're most definitely not. Um, so I will check you real fast and come down to that. But overall, I'm a very nice person, you know. I don't, I'm really, I really stay to myself, you guys, honestly, yeah. <laughs> How are you mentally? I'm okay mentally, you know. Um, I feel like my muscle is very well. I mean, I have my days most definitely where it's just like I feel lazy. I don't want to do anything. But overall, my mentally is a-okay. <laughs> you like meeting new people, making new friends. I honestly love meeting new people. As far as making new friends, I'm kind of iffy on that because people are weird. Like, I just can't sit here and try to call somebody my friend because I just don't know people. Like, people are weird. So I can't trust people, y'all. I really can't. Like, it takes me a while to really want to call somebody my friend. Like, if I call you my friend, then that should mean a lot to you because I don't call everybody my friend because friends are so iffy. Friends are just like, yo, you know? I just, I just don't know. I, when it comes to friends, I don't know. Associates, of course. Yeah, I associate with you. Yes, 
but who yes but as far as friends that's iffy as heck you know because <laughs> people are very weird very weird okay i'm gonna leave that right there please describe the taste of earwax if you taste it why would you ask me that who who want to eat earwax do you eat earwax like what how many serious relationships you've been in one y'all believe it or not i only been in one serious relationship and that's the one i am in now honestly i i don't really be your like that with people because once again people are weird <laughs> very very weird so yeah mm -mm. <laughs> do you snore drew while you sleep of course <laughs> i don't think i snore that much I, unless i'm like really really tired but i really don't snore but when it comes down to drool that's how i know i sleep like really really good because i have all that white stuff all on my face and it's just like yo i was sleeping really really good so yes i do have drool all over my face i drool a lot when i go to sleep so yeah <laughs> Do you pee in the shower? Of course. <laughs> Y'all are probably judging me right now. Don't judge. Don't judge. Yes, I pee in the shower. I mean, think about it. I mean, you have to pee. Who want to get out, cut the shower off, go to the bathroom, get back in? Like, just pee in the shower. I mean, it's going to go down in the drain. It's going to go down, 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 down. But, yes, I do pee in the shower. <laughs> Sometimes y'all, it's just not something I always do know, but it's like if I really have to go to yes, I will pee in the shower. What is a trait or feature that you hate about yourself? I wouldn't say hate because hate is a very strong word. I would just say dislike or I could change about myself and I would change the fact that I'm so nice. I'm very nice to people and sometimes I feel like I hold my tongue a lot and that I don't say things that I really want to say because I consider people feelings over what I feel. That's another thing I don't like. I consider everybody else feelings versus mine, you know? So, yeah. And another thing is that I underestimate myself. Like, I do that a lot. <laughs> very, very much. Like, a lot. I, very, I really do underestimate myself and I wish I didn't do that. <laughs> so, yeah. And then, I mean, that's about it. Everything else is like, I'm left by myself. But that's just a few things that i don't like about me so yeah how many people have you kissed um i don't put my lips on everybody or anybody so probably what two three that that's it three max i don't don't kiss everybody don't know where people mouth been don't know where your lips been don't know what you got i don't know what you carry Nah, I'm gonna get out there. So probably two or three. You know, three at the max. <laughs> I don't put most of everything in everybody. No, no, no. <laughs> uh -uh. How many times do you have SES? That's honestly very uncomfortable and it's really honestly none of your business. So I'm not gonna really answer that. Honestly, all you know is not that much, not that often. Um, would you have a threesome with two girls? No, that's disgusting. I am not gay. I'm not bi. No, I would not do that. I wouldn't even have a threesome at all. Even with a guy included. No, that's, dis that's disgusting. No, uh -uh. absolutely not. Do you want to get married? Of course I want to get married. Not right now, but of course in the future. Yes. Who's your favorite YouTuber? I really look up to Diara a lot. Like, she's probably one of my top. And I really love Queen, Queen, Queen Renee and Minnie Wee. I love them. I love them three girls. They're so inspiring. I look up to them. And it's just like, one day, one day, I'm going to be somebody. I'm going to claim it because one day, somebody going to be saying, you know that girl life with Christina? Yeah, I look up to her. <laughs> So, yeah. And of course, I feel like besides them, I'm my favorite YouTuber as well because I look up to me and how much I've grown over the years of doing YouTube. So, I really enjoy doing it and um, I'm my favorite YouTuber. <laughs> Are you and your best friend still cool? Of course. How do you feel about the girls you graduated with? Do y'all still talk? Okay. So... <laughs> that question we still talk we still communicate but not as much as we did when we was in school and I just feel like life got in the way on their end and the reason why I say their end because me personally 
I reach out to them, but at the point where I feel like they're not really trying to talk to me or, you know, it's taking them like, and I just, I don't know y'all, like, that's another thing I don't like about myself. I notice this, like, I literally notice everything. I notice energy changes. I notice when someone on that act different. I, I notice, like, if my man, like, if I post a picture and a whole bunch of pictures and he don't like them, I notice he didn't like them. I notice if he didn't look at my story. I, I just, like, I notice so much. I notice when my friends start acting different, that like, girl, why you acting like that? Why your face changed like that when I, you know what I'm saying? It's like, I notice so much i'm very observing and that could be a good and a bad thing but i just don't know so basically what i'm trying to say is like when i when i used to test them the energy was there but now it's kind of like all the way off and i just feel like we're growing apart but at the same time we're still cool if that makes sense like we're we're growing apart because on their end my end was great but i feel like if you're gonna push me away and i notice that jump then i'm gone that's one thing like one thing about me if you notice I used to text you and check up on you like you know every month or every two months and I'm not doing that girl you don't push me the F away okay because what I'm not gonna do is keep texting somebody that don't want to be texted or don't want to be bothered or trying to cut me off for some odd ass reason you know what I'm saying so with that being said um we still talk occasionally and I'm putting it like that. We're still cool. We still talk. But that's just something people got to understand. Like people will let life get in the way. And I'm just going to leave it at that. On their end. It might not be on your end. But their end. And that's another thing. Like you have to remember like everybody not you. So yeah. And a lot of people hold grudges. And if a friend holding grudges. That can most definitely come between somebody's friendship. So you just got to say Outfit and keep it moving, baby. Okay, keep you gotta make motion. Leave them, leave their ass behind. Okay, and at the end of the day, leave them behind. They're not trying to help with you at the end of the day. And this is my mindset. Like, okay, cool. I ain't gonna talk to you. Don't want to be bothered. Cool. I don't care. <laughs> so, yeah. Do you want kids? Mm, I do, but not really since I've been thinking about because. Mm -mm. I'm 19 y'all <laughs> I don't want no kids y'all I don't want to live my life I want to travel and yeah I don't want to be worried about no damn kids uh uh <laughs> to be honest do you believe in God of course I believe in God you know everything I do I always pray about it you know and I talk to God you know I ask God for different things you know he's been blessing me and blessing me and blessing me like of course he is real and if you are atheist then get Get off my channel because I don't need your negative vibe over here, okay? Next that. <laughs> if you're in a relationship, are you happy? Yes, y'all. I am happy. I love our relationship. Our relationship is amazing. And yeah, of course, you know, we got our days. But it's I'm so happy in that relationship, y'all. I just don't understand. <laughs> so, yeah. So, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. It is too long because, you know, you just sitting here talking. That can get very, very boring. And I don't want y'all to be bored. I want y'all to watch my videos. So, we're just going to leave it at that. If y'all have any more other questions and want a part two, let's get this video to 20 likes. And I will give y'all a part two and drop some questions down below of what you want me to answer. And without further ado, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, y'all.